they were underwater during that last one we had back in 
Montana for Dread Sculpture Show. And that's the first one for Dread Ship, completed by Sebastian in 2010. And on the right behind the Republic here, we have the Clifford Building. Built back in 1891, 50 years before they built the Republic. The Golden Super Bowl is all over there on the street off nowadays, just in case people want to change. And then, just before the bridge over right here, we have a bus sculpture in Robert over there. So we need to go back there. Yeah. yeah. Once again on the right here we have the Casa Rio. That sits on land granted in 1777 by the King of Spain. The Spanish colonialists, they became the ruler of the restaurant. And the same all the senior doors are still have an entry out to his They were the first down here in 46 to Humble Riverside and River Barge dining. This is probably the most important fact to be a restaurant down here. Get to definitely way better than Taco Bell. Now, when the 68 World's Fair was ordered to San Antonio, the city was in desperate need of a modern hotel room. So the builder named H.P. Zachary stepped up to the plate. He built this Hilton Palacio del Rio just straight ahead of the boat here. Not only did he complete that with a modular construction method very new to the day, he had to complete that to record time. Curry's worked on a site south of San Antonio, 24 hours a day built those rooms. They were 100% completely ready to go when they trucked them into town. They had to use two cranes to put each of the 70,000 pound rooms into place. They built that 500 room structure there in a world record time. It was 202 working days, just in time for the 68 World's Fair. Oh, H.B. Zachary actually met the city. He could get that done on time, or he was going to forfeit the whole thing to them for one dollar. He got it done five days before the deadline. You know, we just entered the man-made extension of the river here. Completed for the 68th World's Fair. Great head there. That's the Marion River Walk. But just to the left there, that tall one, that's the Marion River. Center. That's a 1,000 and one room hotel connected to the mall. But anyways, that's just on the side of which was once the historic Fairmount Hotel from 1906. Due to the Fairmount's historic designation, it cannot be torn down so it's moved. When developers were getting ready to tear down this three-story building that had been vacant for a number of years, all of a sudden they got all this sort of so they had to hire Emirates International on a way up in Oregon to come down here. They came down here and shorted it up, put it on 36 dollies with high flotation tires and wrapped some cables around it. They hooked it up to a crane named Brutus. Now Brutus pulled it over south of the hill from Palacio del Rio that's behind us to the right right now. And they set it back down on top of General Santa Ana's battle camp from the Battle of the Alamo. The locals lined the street with lawn chairs and coolers and watched it move for six days on this six long journey over there. And I got them a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest building moved through city streets on pneumatic tires in three stories and 1,651 tons. They were the event to Ruben go for San Antonio back in 85. They even have a 17 minute YouTube video on the move. Looks like it was on TV back in the late 80s. It was pretty neat to see. On the left there behind the palm trees coming up is a sculpture of St. Anthony de Pont with a patron saint of lost things and small children. For him the city and river were named. He lived from 1195 to 1231. The sculpture was a present from Portugal when the Portugal Pavilion opened as part of the 68 World's Fair. And on the right there you can see the Tower of the Americas on the east side of Hemisphere Park. Hemisphere Park up there is 100 acres of beautifully maintained plant life and artwork. Children's playgrounds, bike rental kiosks, public restrooms and water fountains. There's beautiful man-made waterfalls up there at the base of the tower. Souvenir shops oh, the cafe on the inside. A lot of people go there to exercise. They even have giant signs just for the checkerboards up there. It's <laughs> yeah, the like Mayan ruins. As well as the Institute of Tax and Culture, the Autonomous University of Mexico, and the Cultural Institute of Mexico. This is the River Center extension here, created around 85 feet long. Uh, there are souvenir shops on both sides of the river. We have our Joe Rio station here on the right. This is the Joe Rio Town, with Nice Street Town, stuff like that. Yeah, it's fine. You know, there's a lot of good views. So. Pulling up to the shops and River So we need to walk that side. It's about 80 stores inside here. Just past this footbridge on the left, we have a part of Greenville and the Hooters. And we need to go there. Street level, there's a yard down, 
Which which sandwiches bite on and beats it on your rock tail or your star boat. There's a David Busher's and a Morton Steakhouse in there, some other There's a virtual reality gaming center on the third floor. There's a tea and spice exchange here on the There's a liquor store and farmer shop on the third floor. A Lego land and a sea life thing in there for the kids. There's a dispensers, a bottle store, shoe stores, clothing stores, western wear, souvenir shops, a lot of candy stores, and jewelry stores there. There's a movie theater in there, a place the movie Alabama. The price of freedom over and over again. This played every day since the moment in 1988. I got them a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest continuously running feature film. At 48 minutes long, that is said to be the most accurate portrayal of the Battle of the Amazon. So today we are on the Dove boat to symbolize peace. We also have a sun boat to honor the sun as a tricentennial boat as well as a military boat to honor our military. If you happen to have served in the military, it's an honor and a privilege to have you on the boat today. Thank you for your service. Straight ahead there in the white blue there, that's a mission boat to symbolize our five San Antonio missions. We have the Alamo, Mission Conception, San Jose, San Juan, and Mission is one all located in a 10 mile stretch of by priest of the Franciscan Order from 1718 to 1731. Now there is sidewalk running alongside the railway all the way down past all those visits, just in case you care to rent an electric bicycle from one of our bike rental kiosks. Check out a few of those things while you're down here. Once again, thank you all so much for coming down here and spending part of your evening with us down here on the Riverwalk. 